Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving addition and subtraction of decimals including money. Let's have the first problem. Johan has 52 pesos and 75 centavos while Kashika has 23 pesos and 50 centavos more than Johan. How much money do they have in all? Let's take a look at our given. Johan here has 52 pesos and 75 centavos while Kashika has 23 pesos and 50 centavos more than Johan. We have to find the total money they have. Let's have here Johan and Kashika. Johan has 52 pesos and 75 centavos. Let's put it inside the box. And let's have Kashika, which also has 52 pesos and 75 centavos plus 23 pesos and 50 centavos. Why is that so? Because it says there that she has 23 pesos and 50 centavos more than Johan. Next, all we need to do is to find how much money they have but we cannot do that if we will not first find how much money Kashika has. All we need to do is to add 52 pesos and 75 centavos and 23 pesos and 50 centavos. That will give us 76 pesos and 25 centavos. All we need to do to get the final answer is to find the total money they both have and our final answer is 129 pesos and that's it we have the second question an eraser costs 7 pesos and 75 centavos while the notebook costs 13 pesos and 50 centavos more than an eraser how much will Mom Vivian pay if she will buy one item for each kind? Let us identify our given eraser is 7 pesos and 75 centavos while the notebook costs 13 pesos and 50 centavos more than an eraser. So we have to show that one in our model. So let's write eraser and notebook here. Let's draw. Um, a box with 7 pesos and 75 centavos inside that box and let's take note that the notebook costs 13 pesos more than the eraser it has to be shown in our model this time let's find the price of the notebook by adding 7 pesos and 75 centavos and 13 pesos and 50 centavos because we cannot add it to our eraser if we don't know the price of the notebook. As you can see, we already have the price of the notebook and that is 21 pesos and 25 centavos. This time, let's get the sum of the prices of the eraser and the notebook. And that is 29 pesos. That's the amount of money that Mom Vivian will pay for both items. Next question, the total weight of Rosabelle and Rossell is 198 and 5 tenths kilograms. Rosabelle is 6 and 5 tenths kilograms heavier than Rossell. How heavy is Rosabelle? Our given here is the total weight of Rosabelle and Rossell which is 198 and 5 tenths kilograms. Let's take note that Rosabelle is 6 and 5 tenths tens kilograms heavier than Russell. It is better if you're going to show that one in our model because it's easier for our students to understand that Russell is really heavier by six and five tenths kilograms compared to Russell. Now we have to find the value of the empty boxes there by subtracting six and five tenths from the total weight which is 198 and five tenths. We so get 192. We have to divide it into two boxes because we have two empty boxes there. So 192 divided by 2. We get 
96 we'll put 96 in each box but we have to find the weight of Roosevelt by adding 96 and 6 and 5 tenths we get 102 and 5 tenths that's the weight of Roosevelt and it's our final answer we have a next question the length of the rectangle is seven and five hundred thirty four thousandths meters while its width is two and fifty two hundredths meters lesser find the sum of the length and the width of the rectangle let us first identify our given for the length that's 7.534 meters and for the width 2.52 meters lesser compared to our length and we're looking for the sum of length and width we need to take note that when we say 2.52 meters lesser it means our width is shorter by 2.52 meters compared to our length. In other words, the length is 2.52 meters longer than the width. So we will write 2.52 meters there to show that the length is really longer compared to its width. And based on our given, our length is 7 and 5 134 thousands meters how to get the value of that box we will just subtract 7.534 by 2.52 the difference is 5 and 14 thousands whatever is the value of that box that will be also the value of the box for our weave and we're looking for the sum of the length and width we'll just add the measurements of the length and the width that's 7.534 plus 5.014 we get 12 and 548 thousandths meters that's the sum of the length and width of the rectangle we have the next problem Miss Nicole bought a blouse and a pair of pants. How much change will she get from 1,000 pesos if a pair of pants costs 631 pesos and 25 centavos and a blouse costs 275 pesos and 50 centavos less than the price of the pants? For this problem, we're looking for the change of Miss Nicole after buying the pants and the blouse. Please take note that the blouse is 275 pesos and 50 centavos lesser compared to the price of the pants. That would mean we will put the extra 275 pesos and 50 centavos on our pants that shows in our model. How to get the value of the empty boxes that we have there for the pants and the blouse just simply subtract 631 pesos and 25 centavos and 275 pesos and 50 centavos we get 355 pesos and 75 centavos whatever is the value of that box that will be also the value of the box for our blouse since we're looking for the change, we have to get first the sum of the prices of the blouse and the pants. We'll add 355 pesos and 75 centavos and 631 pesos and 25 centavos will have 987 pesos. We have to get the change by subtracting it from 1000 pesos and we get 13 pesos. That will be the change of Miss Nicole after paying 1000 pesos. And that's it. We're done. It is your time to solve. Write your answer in the comment section. The question is, after spending 678 pesos and 95 centavos, I had 34 pesos and 5 centavos left. How much money did I have at the start? I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!